All right, so something super exciting is happening. We have had these eggs in the incubator. Today's the 21st day, it is hatching day, and we are already seeing that beginning, so let's take a look. Okay, so on this egg at the top, and then this egg right here. Again, I'm gonna work on my focus. Okay, and then this egg right here, and then we have another one around the back. So let's, uh, let's see how this all works out. Alrighty, so update, it's a couple hours later. So on this egg, we have a second little spot where it's poking, this egg, over here that shells lifting up more nothing new that we can see on the outside with this one but this egg right here is brand new to our little Kraken collection oh 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 and I just see boy it looks like we've got a pretty good hatch right here the rate uh, the egg on the inside there I see a, a little peck there and then back over here okay the, that is lifting up a little more. That one I haven't seen any more progress on. This is new. And we have started to hear them peep. There's too much noise in here now probably for it to pick up on the camera, but we've definitely heard them peep. I just don't want to, it's 71% uh, percent humidity in there right now. I want it to be nice and warm for them. So I don't want to lift the lid, but uh, we, we I, I hear it faintly now, but I don't think you all be able to hear it. But things are happening. Oh boy, that blue egg has a second crack in it now. Okay, just turn around from handing Tobin his cup of water and look at this. This is happening. So I have heard from other folks who've used this incubator that they've left the egg turner in and that usually keeps the baby bird from disturbing the eggs. That's not happening in this case. I'm gonna remove this baby bird's egg, put it back in its slot, and just, uh, cause I've heard it's good for them to stay in the incubator while they dry. So let's see if we can get this little guy settled. Oh, this is a hopper. I think we're gonna have to put him under the warmer. Okay. Okay, so right now, oh, I was just about to say, little Chicky's been staying in their spot. It's already a nice temperature in here. It would just be nice if you could just sit there and rest and recover a little bit. Oh, nope, you're not. Okay, okay, Mama's gonna help. Okay, friends, middle of the night. Mama got up to check on these babies and get myself some water, and look, we've got two little ones there. Now, when I came out, I, <laughs> I had no water, and now I have water. When I came out, they were both asleep here. So I'm gonna take them and put them in our other little warmer, their brooder. But there they are, super cute. Okay, little friends.
So before I take these guys to my brooder, this one might be next. Got some visible shell loop there. Oh, but this one's cracked all the way across, so that might be the next one to go. Okay, let's take you guys. Let's take you guys. So we've had three hatch so far. Are y'all are y'all fussing already? You fussing? Let's go get under the warmer. They are nice and dry. Okay, these are like human babies that like being born at night. Just got up again, and we've got three in here. So I'm gonna get these out now. Hey there, little friend. So these guys are, are pretty new. They're still wet. So I'm going to wrap them up. Get them down into their brooder now. Oh, I see. You look like a bunch of little Easter eggs already, don't you? Oh, and look. Kid art. Bonus googly eye. <laughs> okay, let's go get you under the other warmer. Okay, so this egg back here is looking like it's coming up next and then this egg here is rocking back and forth so that's exciting if i go lay down for a little bit longer we'll we'll see what we come back to all righty so it's getting my coffee and i've been watching this little looks like a little olive egger it uh just hatched right here it is now kind of climbed over in the middle getting its shell off good job so now there's a, it's a 74% humidity in there. So there's a fan going and it's a 99.5. So I'm just gonna let them sit in there just a little bit as long as it didn't get bashing all of those eggs too much. And this one here has been moving a lot like it's gonna be happening next. So Amelia just took our most recent baby downstairs to the brooder. I'm going to get these uh, all ready cracked eggs out and I'm just putting these in the scrap bowl but cool science if you want to see inside one you can see where they were attached to the side there oh several of these eggs in here are shaking okay that eggs that's attached I'm gonna let that be I'm gonna set this off for a minute Isn't that fun? I'm taking these eggs out to put in the scrap bowl. The cats are smart. They sometimes they can push doors open, so I keep that one locked. Yes. So that we have babies. Okay, and we can hear. Oh, you hear them peeping? Yes. Okay. It's loud. All right. So we have had seven hatch so far. We have 14 left. If you look, like this egg, just you can hear. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Can you hear that? We hear them peeping and calling out from the eggs. Yeah. So this must be, this is a 22 egg incubator. One of the eggs we had to get rid of whenever we candled them uh, just because it had some big cracks in it. I have since read about using candle wax um, and people hatching them successfully. I did not know. But anyway, this one is jumping around a lot. Does that one have a crack on the other side, Amelia? Yeah, it just <laughs> has some little holes there, but it's moving okay. a lot. And so these dark brown ones, my friend who I bought these eggs from, her rooster is a black copper marin. And so I'm hoping to get some of these darker egg layers from this batch as well. Alrighty, so I'm just going to drop these egg shells in our chicken scrap bowl and the chickens will peck them and eat them and 
Uh, well, it's good for them. It is good for them, that's right. Amelia and I were just here looking at these eggs, and so I thought I'd show you a couple of them. So this one, uh, really cool. So this is science stuff, and if you don't want to see the inside of an egg, you can just fast forward it for a second. Um, okay, you ready? Okay. So you can see the veins inside, and you can see where the little chick was like its umbilical cord that was connected to the yolk. There's the little air sac membrane. You can see the veins in there. And whenever we candle the eggs uh, around day seven or day 10, we're looking for the veins. All of these chicks, I was able to see veins, except for these really dark brown ones. I just, I could not see through them. I could see the air sac at the bottom. And so, um, and then the only one we had to get rid of was the one that had uh, just big cracks. And if you have an egg go bad while you're incubating, and if it busts, it can just, the whole batch, it basically kills the bacteria from that egg when it busts open, will um, kill all the other eggs that are growing. And so I don't even know that there was a little chick in that one because it was one of the very dark ones. Uh, but you'll see all of these. I showed in another video when we set this up. We did an X on top of every egg. And we did that because when we put them in the first time and we tested this, this what's nice about this incubator is it has the automatic egg roller. And so friends of mine who've incubated, um, talked to a friend of mine the other day who had done duck eggs, but her incubator, they had to turn them manually a couple times a day. So that's just a nice thing about this. Um, now, in the directions it said to remove this white part that you see here, that is the egg roller. And in the directions it had said to remove the egg roller, but another uh, person that I know who uses his incubator says she likes to leave her egg roller in because uh, sometimes the baby chicks will just stay there. And, um, but with mine, they, they were not listening. They were crawling all over, and you run the risk of just potentially damaging the other eggs if um, the babies get walking around too much. You see this egg here, I think that might be our next one, Amelia. It's got a deep crack starting. Yeah, that one looks like it. Mm -hmm, could be. And now these baby chicks, and this is how they also ship chicks in the mail. Uh, whenever they're first born, they have enough of the yolk left in their system that they don't need food for the first 24 hours or so. When you put the most recent one down there, were the other ones all dry and fluffy now? Yes. I figure when we're done hatching out today, uh, we should have a lot hatched today. Yesterday was their 21st day when they started, and they really started last evening. So my guess right now you tell me yours amelia i think all of these are going to hatch today but if they don't hatch today it's also okay it, a few of them if they're left might hatch out tomorrow but by wednesday or so i mean some people let them go eight days past the hatch date so we'll just have to kind of i mean if we hear if we hear the chick calling out obviously it's going to stay in there till it hatches but um that first one still peeped Yes, and and I will we'll get them all out later. I will show you friends here in the video. Once this is all done, we'll line them up and have a little chick show. How's that? Sound good? Okay. I wanted to do this batch uh, first off to give the kids the experience of incubating and hatching eggs. And it's been fun the last 21 days. Today's actually day 22, having it on our table. Um, and I wanted to do that so we could keep a good eye on everything. Also, all of these that we hatched are Easter Eggers, Olive Eggers, or uh, the Black Copper Marins. So we should get a nice color variety of egg layers. Alrighty, so we've been outside doing animals and morning chores when we came in. We got another chick out and another one coming out soon. So here's the newest one. This one was out whenever we came in, and this one is about to come out.
Alrighty, so at some point during school time, kids are outside now waiting for me to come out and we're gonna do read alouds outside. At some point we had another chick hatch and it has been taken down to the brooder and now there's two more getting ready to hatch. So let me show you how, how things are working out for them. I bet when we come back in from reading, we're gonna have a few more baby chicks looking at us. See some of the eggs that have already hatched. So now we've got this one. Kids don't know I'm filming. There's lots of hooting and hollering coming in. I've heard it chirping a lot. And then we have this one and this one. Messy in here, but this is why you had to clean the incubator after all the fun. Then this one has, there we go, a crack there. This one looks like it has started back here. This one has a crack here. I think this one is up next. Me and I have been gone a couple hours. And so we have come home to several of these babies working on hatching. Well, good morning. So last night in the middle of the night I came out here and we had this one little chick. And I just left it in there all night. Looks like we have, let's see here. One, two, three, four, maybe five that have not hatched. And I believe today is day 23. So those five very well may not hatch at all. I'm gonna leave them in there for the day though, just to be extra sure. Uh, but there's our one little one that I'll get down in the brooder now. Okay, so here we are a few days later with our little chick photo shoot. Miss Amelia is here to help me. So you see we have one uh, particular pattern that really stands out. This one looks like a little penguin with the white on the head, doesn't it? So anyway, we had 21 eggs in the incubator. One of them had two cracks and uh, whenever we had candled the eggs, I pitched that one. I didn't know the trick yet about add, trying at least to do candle wax to seal it. I've read about that since, woo, 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 since in um, some of the Facebook groups. These guys are runners now. So out of the 21, we then had 20. Out of the 20, we had four that did not hatch. That was our, our end number. Those last four eggs, we left them in, you know, with the humidity and everything um, for, the f for an extra day. And then uh, yesterday, I just unplugged it, and they sat there for a day. And then last evening, we got rid of them. Hey, little bit fella. Anyway, that leaves us with... Over here. Anyway, that leaves us with about 16 chicks that did hatch, and here they are. You're a nice little runner. And here they are, and like I said, now this one looks has a little penguin head too, the little white uh -huh. on the top. A lot of them have penguin heads. Isn't that cute? So, these, so this is a mix of the Easter Eggers and also um, the Morans, and we will, we will see what we end up getting when they grow up. I like these because look, it looks like they have, of course I like them all, but let's see if I can get a good picture. Looks like they have eyeliner. We focused in there. Like many. Yes, they do. They're all very sweet. And then we have this one. Now it looks like she'll have some uh, black feathers too. Anyway, get down there. So I wanted to, wanted to put them on the table. Uh, be a little adventurous here so you guys could get a good look at them. Woo, 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 woo. But Amelia's being a good chicken mama. And the, yep, 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 yep. You're corralling them. And he, so, so this was our project. We did it. Yay. So that was our adventure hatching chicks in that incubator. I think we had a really good hatch rate. I know that some folks have shared with me that they might only get like a half hatch rate. So they might have only had like 10 that hatch or so. Um, so, or sometimes even less. Uh, some folks have a 100% hatch rate. So only having four that didn't hatch. Um, and then we had that one egg that had the cracks in it that, uh, 
I had to get rid of earlier on. But anyway, all the little chickies are doing well. They're all beautiful. They're all getting lots of loving. And so the plan is we will continue to raise them and brood them how we currently are. And then as the sunshine comes out and as they get bigger, they will start to have more and more days outside. I have this, um, it's like a a long cage but it looks like a house i want to say it's it's probably seven feet long so i like to get the birds out as soon as they're old enough and able to be out at least uh for a little bit during the day and then we still bring them in at night and then we start transitioning them to coops or free range or chicken dome or wherever else we're gonna put them but i'm excited to add these new ladies to our flock i still am without a rooster at this time so might get a rooster in there they might all be roosters we'll see how that goes so thank you for watching this chick hatching experience and of course just you can leave any other questions in the comments below but i had like a little mini video that came out on tiktok and someone said wait a minute you left the egg turner in there and so i left the egg turner i if i didn't explain this already i can't go back and rewatch my footage right um i left the egg turner in there because sometimes that helps keep the little chicks in their little compartments while the other ones are hatching. My chicks were, they had full energy. They weren't waiting for nothing. Um, that's why I had to keep pulling them out of there. But anyway, also the egg turner stopped turning three days before the hatching, which is what it is supposed to do. So the egg turner wasn't moving or anything while the eggs were hatching and while I also had one to four hatched chicks in there waiting for me to pull them out. So just in case that's a question that you have. I've also received several, several comments and questions of folks wanting to know the exact incubator that I used and I will link that down in the description of this video. You can click through and get it through my, you can click through and get it through Amazon or this particular incubator for about the same price Travis had picked it up for me at Tractor Supply. So you can also check there. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you real soon with another brand new video.